Welcome to Manico Viewpoint San Nicolas, Pangasinan, the colder and higher in elevation than Baguio City. I'll share some information and facts about this stunning tourist destination in Pangasinan. Maliko is the partiest and remotest barangay of the municipality being 40 kilometers away from the town proper and adjoins provincial boundary with the province of Nueva Vizcaya. In fact, it is nearer to Imugan, Nueva Vizcaya being only 13 kilometers away. It is bounded to the north by Kayapa, Nueva Vizcaya, on the south by Barangay Kakabungawan, on the east by Imugan, Nueva Vizcaya, and on the west by Barangay Santa Maria East and Pianza. It has approximate land area of 710 hectares with pasture lands covering the biggest area of land, followed by Kugun land. The irrigated land is the third biggest area. The residential land covers the least land area classification. Maliko produces mountain crops like sweet potato, gabi, and vegetable such as cabbage, sayote, bagyo beans, pechay, and carrots. The high elevation, cold climate, and fertile soil make Maliko an ideal place for vegetable production like binget. According to old folks, Maliko derived its name from the winding flow of the Kabalishan River, which originated from Maliko and winds down the mountain connecting with the Ambuyawan River in Barangay Santa Maria S. As could be seen from a vintage point in the barangay, you could see the zigzagging flow of the said river or Likoliko and was later called Maliko. In the early 60s, Maliko was a sitio of Santa Maria until the PECD creation to undertake the developmental challenges and the subdivisions of the countryside that Maliko devolved into a separate barangay. Also, tribal leadership devolved to political leadership to the barangay leaders of Maliko. Yet, the tribal leaders are still very much respected, revered, and honored on matters pertaining the customs, traditions, and critical issues and the problems brought to them for decisions and advice. Maliko is composed mainly of the Kalunguya ethno-linguistic group, but everyone knows the Ilocano dialect. The customs and traditions of the Kalunguya tribes are very much practiced and preserved by the barangay folks, although majority of them were converted to Christianity through the long years of missionary work of Pastor Dilbert Rice, an American UCCP pastor. Prominent families of the barangays are the following, Tasyong, Tindaan, Bugtong, Anchita, Lorenzo, Guzman, Lakias and Segundo among others. In the early 70s, Maliko could be reached easily by motor vehicles from the town proper through the winding Villa Verde Trail, some 30 kilometers away. Yet, the national government failed to maintain the trail. The 1990 killer earthquake resulted to massive erosion landslide and total destruction of the road. Presently, it could be reached only through the mountain road of Imugan, Nueva Vizcaya. Those going to Maliko from the town proper is like going on a journey to Cagayan Valley. As you have to take the road 
to San Jose City, then to Santa Fe, Nueva Vizcaya, and via the mountain roads of Imugan to Maliko. This road covers around 60 kilometers, half of which is unpaved mountain road and three hours travel time. The proposed constructions of the Pangasinan Nueva Biscaya Road will be a big boom not only to Maliko but also to the municipality of San Nicolas. Maliko will become the gateway to the Cagayan Valley due to its high elevation, good vegetation, and unique cold climate. Maliko could become the summer capital of Pangasinan. The Villa Verde Trail will improve as a tourist destination due to its historic value as the battleground of the U.S. Army 32nd Raid Arrow Divisions and the Japanese Army during the World War II. At present, Barangay Maliko has seven parok groups namely Lupa, Camp War, Sicho Singi, Porok Monumento, Porok Antiro, Maliko Centro, and Salaksak. Natunghayan natin mga kaibigan ang documentation ko pags ng Maliko Viewpoint sa San Nicolas, Pangasinan. At masasabi kong isa sa pinakamagandang pasyalan ngayon dahil sa magandang view nito, pag akyat mo pa lang ay bubunggad na sa iyo ang napakagandang tanawin na animoy na sa ibang bansa ka. At hindi lang yan mga kaibigan, dito mo mararamdaman ang tindi ng lamig kung ang bagyo ay malamig na pero dito sa Maliko Viewpoint ay doble ang lamig at nasasakop na ng ulap. Kaya pagdating mo sa taas ay, kay, ay wala ka na makita na view kundi ulap na lang at pinagsamang tindi ng lamig. Kaya pagpapasyal kayo dito mga kaibigan ay huwag kakalimutan magdala ng mga jacket nyo. So dinarayo ngayon mga kaibigan ito. So maraming mga turista, mga vloggers, mga riders at mga karating bayan natin ang uh, pumapasyal dito sa napaka at uh, masasabi kong so, so, napakaganda mga kaibigan kung ang daang kalikasan ay sa, isa rin sa pinakamaganda pero dito sa Maliko Viewpoint na bago ngayon ay grabe po mapapawaw ka talaga sa ganda nito pag narating mo doon sa pinakamataas nito at yung uh, makikita mong ulap sa bundok mga kaibigan at marami ding mabibili doon ng mga vegetable na pwede nating pampasalubong. So ayan mga kaibigan, in hope may natutunan ulit kayo at napulot na aral dito sa Maliko Viewpoint Documentation Packs na vlog ko ngayon. At kung bago ka lang mga kaibigan sa aking channel, please huwag mong kakalimutan mag-like, share and subscribe. And click mo lang yung bell notification para ma-update ka sa aking mga bagong videos and tutorials. So guys, uh, pasyalan natin to para ma-experience experience nyo din kung ano yung experience ko. Kasi first time ko lang ito uh, mabisita itong tinatawag na Maliko Viewpoint sa San Nicolas, Pangasinan. Thank you guys and see you in my next vlogs.